one environmental concern to another. Emergency management officials from across the state are planning for the unthinkable, a tsunami in the Gulf of Mexico. It's an unlikely but not impossible. And as our Daniel Phillips reports, plans are in the works to come up with a plan just in case. A tsunami in the Gulf of Mexico, a small but credible risk for communities living along the coast. A low probability event, but a very high impact event. So a lot of people are not aware that there's a tsunami hazard along the, the Gulf Coast. In the aftermath of several devastating tsunamis in Indonesia and Japan, the U.S. started a plan to make sure coastal communities were ready for the threat, no matter how minimal the risk. After that devastating, you know, such a good part of the world, the U.S. was like, well, we better look and see if there's anything in our area. And that's when they started to do the research on the Gulf and said, hey, there's some potential there. And that potential has officials concerned, especially since it won't be an earthquake that triggers a tsunami. About what causes a tsunami here in the, the Gulf of Mexico, uh, which is basically submarine landslides, not really earthquakes, but mainly the landslide that occurs along the continental shelf. Since those landslides don't register seismically, there'll be little to no warning. So a firm plan of action could be the difference between life and death if one was headed to Louisiana. I don't want people like to panicking or anything like the public so this is more of like the emergency management and for our National Weather Service itself to get together a plan of action. So if something does happen like this, then we could immediately say, all right, this is what we need to do for the public. So although the chance of a landslide triggering a tsunami in the Gulf may be small, it's still a concern for emergency managers. You have to look at all those things. A tsunami is certainly something that we need to prepare for. In Lake Charles, I'm Daniel Phillips for KTC TV3. Now, geologists have found three areas where a landslide is possible, and the one that poses the biggest threat is about 190 miles south of New Orleans, but scientists do stress that the probability of such a landslide is very minimal. Are the ordinary earthquakes, landslides, and tsunamis, well, they're far-fetched here in Louisiana, but may not be completely impossible. Yeah, the National Weather Service in Lake Charles held a tsunami drill today to draw and draft a plan of action should a national disaster occur. Meteorologists and officials with the Governor's Office of Homeland Security, as well as the Coast Guard, took a look at the most probable scenario for a Gulf of Mexico tsunami. An earthquake of, off of the New Orleans coast could cause a submarine landslide in the Mississippi Canyon area, and that would cause a tsunami and a wave across the Gulf of Mexico impacting the coast of southern Louisiana. The United States started efforts to plan ahead for the nation's coastlines following the Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004. So they started to do some research in the Gulf of Mexico and they found out there actually is a credible threat. It might be a low probability, but it's still a very credible threat. Now, the drill offered visuals of how a tsunami could make landfall in two hours before overtaking areas such as Grand Isle, St. Mary Parish, and Vermilion Bay. And, of course, hopefully we would never see anything like that video that you saw in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, no, it's a it's low, yeah, it's a low, low, low-risk event, but it's a high-impact event if it happens. And, I mean, who would have thought we'd see the big tsunamis of 2004 and then the big one in Japan a couple of years ago? Uh, within a, a, a 10 year window so it's better to, to plan or at least think about it mm -hmm. to have some plans in place and, and that's what they're doing being proactive good idea yeah